Hello, first grade parents. So I have been reading emails and checking over the first grade surveys that you did for me. And I know that there is a lot of anxiety about the coming year. So please forgive my appearance. It is Sunday afternoon and I wanted to reach out and provide a quick video to try to help alleviate some of the concerns that you might be having. Um, I will be doing a much more professional video for you for back to school night, but I think I'm going to be able to answer a lot of your questions that you have concerns for um, today. So let me just share a couple of things with you. And if you do have questions afterwards, feel free to email me or um, you can t message me through Class Dojo. Also tomorrow, I am going to be having the students online at part in part of the morning. Um, but once the students are released, if you would like to stay on, if you have some questions, we can definitely handle it that way. And the students can take a little bit of a break. And then that way you can um, feel more comfortable too. All right, first of all, um, attendance. I've gotten quite a few questions here. And students are expected to be in class during our live meetings. So whenever there's a live lesson and the time, students should be logged on during that time. Now I have pretty large chunks and that's because I want to not have students logging on, logging off, logging on, logging off. I know it's going to be challenging for parents because a lot of you are working from home it looks like and it's going to be challenging for you to try to log them back onto Zoom and then take them off and then log them back on. So I'm trying to build our group. So I do a lot of instruction with full body activities and things for the students to do so they're not just sitting there staring at the computer. But um, I try to group it so that way you're not going back and forth logging your child onto Zoom, okay? Um, so students are required to be online during live lessons. There's also screencasts, which are the videos that your child will be watching, and then there are assignments. And there's multiple times throughout the day that they will have the opportunity to do their screencasts and the assignments. And when I show you the agenda in a couple minutes, you'll get the chance to see that. Um, also with attendance, uh, work completion is obviously required. So students are expected to do all of the work that I assign. However, some of the things I've added to support students. That means I've added additional videos that if your student did not does not need the extra help or review for a math assignment, they would be able to skip the video that is right before the math assignment. And it specifically says on the video that you may or may not do it. It's up to you. I wanted to make that really clear. Um, there's some also activities that would be game activities, which would be helpful, but I know Again, you're working from home, um, you have other kids at home, some parents aren't available during specific times, and those games would be available but not required. But again, it specifically says on there if it is required, if it's not required. Otherwise, it is required, okay? Um, regarding notes for absences, if your child is missing class, a live lesson, a note is going to be required, and that could be a doctor's note, um, or it could be, you know, they went to get their, uh, to the dentist. Then you would submit a note to me. You can do it through email, and then I'll make sure it gets to your building, um, administrators, your secretaries. And then that way, um, your attendance is correct. If your child has an appointment during, um, time that they would be working independently, Obviously, I wouldn't need a note because I wouldn't know if they were there or not. So um, that you'll just need to be paying attention if we had a live lesson and they missed it. Note required. No live lesson. No note required. Okay. Um, for first grade, grading goes from needs improvement to sufficient to outstanding. And I look at all of their lesson um, essential questions to determine how they are doing throughout the year. Um, at the beginning, we're not focused on grades in first grade, obviously. And especially this year, we're really focusing on, you know, getting to know the students, helping them, especially with core, learning how to use the technology. That's really important. So once we get comfortable, 
then we'll really start to focus on the academic elements. But you'll see that all of my lessons are geared towards not only getting comfortable with the technology, but learning something from that technology. So I've tried to structure it so it's not, you know, just play with the technology. I want them to actually learn something from it. All right, so let's go over the agenda that you're going to be using this year. On here, you're going to see that this is the agenda for this coming week. And um, I have listed the materials that you need each day. And that's because I know some students are going to grandma's house. Some students are going to daycare. Some students are different places. And I've tried to make it so um, you know what to pack for your student. Every day, your student needs to have a computer. And if they are in some place where it's kind of noisy or somebody else is doing a class, you'll want to have headphones with a mic because I will be asking for responses from your student. Um, and that, and when they're reading to me, I need to be able to hear them. Um, but you know, if it's a quiet room, there's no problem. You don't need headphones or a mic. You know what you need there. Now, um, our course specials, and this is from 9.10 to 9.30 every day. You'll go to this class code. You'll go to this Google Classroom and type in that cl class code. And all of our special specialist teachers are on there. And you'll be able to see what your students' assignments are for that time. Um, on Tuesday, it's computer class. And I am the teacher of the computer class. So I'll be providing a link for your student to use to do the computer class. Um, because we are learning about technology and something that I think is very helpful for students is learning keyboarding skills. You know, the students are spending so much time on the computer. If they can actually learn these keyboarding skills now, it's going to be very helpful. There's some fun programs that I found. There's one that we're going to specifically use, uh, which is Typing Club. It's an amazing program. It go, your students will be able to go right at their own pace. And you will just click on this link and it will take you directly to the site. You will use your student's login information, which was 32, and then some letters behind it. Um, and then the password is school, all lowercase, just like all of the other logins and passwords for class, okay? Um, after your specials class at 9.30, we'll be going directly into our Zoom meeting. So from 9.30, you'll be able to click onto my Zoom meeting. This is the Zoom meeting that I will be using every day, every week, every time. That way it keeps it incredibly simple for parents. You know exactly um, what room we're going to. There's not gonna be any confusion there. And sometimes you're required to put a password in. If you are logged in with your student's information, you should not need to be re required to put the password in, but that is there for you. Now, you'll notice here we do our morning meeting. I can guarantee that Monday is gonna be a little longer. Also, this is the very first class that your student will be in. There are no specials Monday. So at 9.30 tomorrow, I can't wait to meet you, 9.30 you'll be logging right into Zoom. And there's a video on our Google Classroom that will help you if you're not sure how to log into Zoom. And then from 9.30, 9.50 we do our morning meeting and we'll take a little bit of a break. I know that students will um, need a little bathroom break usually. So you'll, you'll leave Zoom up and students can mute themselves, I'll mute them. And then at 10 o'clock we'll restart our lesson. And we'll be doing our um, language arts lessons during that time. And that will include some brain book, um, some phonics instruction. Also, we'll be doing some reading during that time. It will go probably till about 11. And at that time, students will be able to, um, will be able to work on their independent work, which this week there's um, a brain book video, which we call Hegarty. You click on that, it will be the same instruction that I will be doing live for your student. This is um, just for them to practice. And again, this would be one that your student wouldn't need to do if they feel comfortable with the brain book routine that we're doing in class. Um, the next one is the reading. I'll be reading a story to your student. And then this is the activity, the independent work that they will be need to do. So you'll click on that link and it will take you directly to the activity for your child to do, and there's a video explaining what to do. I've tried to make it so if your student can click on a link, then basically I've explained the assignment and they'll be able to work on it, maybe with a little help, maybe without, and eventually, hopefully in a couple weeks, they won't really need your help at all. I'm trying to make it as user-friendly for a first grader as possible. After that, um, they can work on their handwriting. 
We are doing handwriting. Your child should have all of their materials at this point. If not, you will need to contact the school to pick up their materials. They, you should have all the books and crayons and pencils. You also have a materials bag from me um, that has a lot of the materials that your child will need this year. So if you have not done that, please do so immediately. Um, so if your student doesn't finish all of their independent work, that's fine. There's other times during the day that they will have the ability to do their independent work. Now you'll notice down here that it says small group and we'll be doing small group um, once I do all of the assessments. Now I need to assess each student in reading and math to determine the skill level of each student. Once I do that I'll be able to group the students according to their ability level. That will allow me to really focus on students that need um, specific instruction in areas and will allow students that need um, something reviewed to have something reviewed and then allow students that um, need some enrichment or maybe um, just need to stay on track. It will allow me the opportunity to make sure I'm meeting those needs. So for the next couple weeks, your child will have a specific time that they will be in a Zoom meeting with me all alone and I'll be doing those assessments at that time. So notice, find your, name, find your child's name right down here and have them log into our Zoom meeting at that time. Um, I will be working with students every 20 minutes. So if it's, you know, 11.22 and I haven't switched over, I will put your student in the Zoom room as soon as I finish up with the student that I'm with. So it will be multiple times that I will have your child uh, with me in the, in the Zoom room independently. That's because we have many different assessments to do. There will also be a reading specialist teacher that will be pulling them for other assessments. Again, it's to help us make sure that we're doing exactly what each child needs. The next part on our um, agenda you'll see is, um, again, some ELA time. And this is at 1235. So that small group time is from 11 to 12. And that's once I do the assessments. I'll let you know what group your child is in and what time they'll be meeting each day. And then um, from 12 to 12.30 is considered their lunch time. So there will be no classes, no assignments that need to be done during that time. Then at 12.35, students um, will be uh, having their intervention time. And that's again, once we um, put them into groups, this will give us an extra time to group students and have them work um, on specific skills that they need. So if your child does not have a, a group to meet at a specific time, they'll be expected to do their independent work. Now, if all their independent work is done, then your child can go play. Give them a break from the computer. And this first week, it's not going to be all consuming because I know it's going to be a lot. So, you know, once their independent work is done or you know that they'll do better a little bit later in the day, have them play, have them take some time away from the computer. Physical activity is going to really help these students this year to make sure that they're able to focus when they're at the computer, but then also to build a healthy um, schedule for them. So at this time, I don't have anything scheduled, and that is because I'm leaving that open in case parents need to meet with me um, because they have more questions. So if you would like to meet with me specifically, I'm happy to meet with you um, between 12.35 and 1.35, any of the days these, this week. And um, you can email me and we can schedule that. And then um, live math lessons start at 1.35 and we'll be doing that through Zoom again. There are videos that deal with our math lesson and um, your student will be having an independent assignment down here, which is a Nearpod activity. Um, I do explain how they will be doing that through the video that I provided. So really all they do is click on it and they're able to draw right on the computer. So it's pretty easy. Um, there's a lot of lessons to be done there. And then um, again here from 2.05 to 3.05, I'll be meeting with these students for 20 minutes to do their assessment work. Finally, um, the content. This week, actually every week, content, there is a very small lesson for content. And then the activity, you'll just click on this link, it'll take you to the video and activity. And then on Friday from 3.15 to 3.45 is when we will meet for content instruction. Um, unfortunately, I'm almost out of time for my video, so I will stop this one and start a second one for the rest of the information you will need.